Church of St Mary Our Lady is in the village of Siddlesham, in the Diocese of Chichester. It sits in the middle of the Manhood Peninsula, an area of rich agricultural land. The church is large for the size of the village. Parts of the building date back to the 1200s, with additions in the 14th, 15th centuries, and the modern era. The fertile farmland of the Manhood Peninsula, where Siddlesham is sited, and the presence of a mill on Pagham Harbour accounts for the wealth and importance of the church. The church is approached from the north. The entrance is through an 18th century brick porch. Or through the south door, passing the new parish rooms opened in 2017. The building of the church started in 1200 and was completed in 1245. The chancel was built first so that services could be held in the dry while the rest of the building was completed. Although dating from the early English period, much of the work is Saxon in style. The most unusual aspect of St Mary's is the absence of a chancel. This results in a T-shaped building rather than the traditional cruciform. The chancel is recorded as being present in 1724 and was in good repair. By 1814, this small plaque recorded the chancel boundary. Before 1724, there are references to the chancel needing repair and gravestones marked 1769 are in the area the chancel would have occupied. In the 18th century, the chancel fell into disrepair and disappeared. Entering the church, we see the font of Sussex marble lined with lead. It dates from the 1200s. It is square with some relief carvings. It was saved from the Puritans by burial in the churchyard. The cover is a gift of a parishioner. The priest's vestry is Victorian. Next to it is the bell from HMS Siddlesham, now used to mark the start of services. The nave, containing Victorian wooden pews, leads to the sanctuary. A rood screen and choir stalls present at one time are now removed and the sanctuary is open and spacious. The chandelier with the dove of peace above it dates from 1750. The south aisle has long embrasure windows of Tudor origin. Here are displayed at each season as appropriate, a glass roundel made by Sally Tynan, a local artist. The transepts and the sanctuary area form one continuous open space. There is evidence of previous access to smaller chapels now lost. The north transept is divided by wrought iron railings originally designed to contain a monument. The memorial to the Stuart family suggests that a family tomb may have been planned here. To the left of the altar is the village roll of honour, giving the names of those who died in the two world wars. A stone medieval alcove, damaged at the time of Cromwell, contains a statuette of St Mary, donated by a previous assistant priest. Above is a Renaissance-style marble memorial with figures in Jacobean attire. It also survived the Puritans. The east window above the altar was restored in the 1930s. The altar is made of West Indian mahogany, donated by the Petrie Hay family. Behind and above the altar is an ombre. The carved wooden cross is South German in origin. 
The south transept with its Gothic arch was, until 1970, a side chapel dedicated to St Richard. The chandelier here and in the north transept are in memory of a former organist. Looking from the sanctuary down the church, the tower with the organ makes up most of the western end of the building. Dating from the 15th century, it houses the bells. The tenor bell dates from 1390, and the treble bell was founded in 1611. There was a third bell, but this was lost or damaged during a collapse of the tower. During the 18th and 19th century, there was much decay in the tower, but it was restored in 1949. Originally, music in the church was provided by woodwind and string instruments called a choir. In 1850, they were replaced by a harmonium. The organ formerly in the north transept was moved to the tower in 1953. The current organ came from the Radcliffe Hospital Chapel in Oxford. Built in 1850, it was reassembled here in 2009. In 1245, when the church was completed, its now plain walls would have been covered with paintings which acted as a priestly teaching tool and were painted by groups of Benedictine monks from the Priory at Lewis. All that remains in Sittlesham are the fragments of pattern over the main door. We hope you have enjoyed this short film about our ancient and lovely church. Looking back over 800 years since its founding, our thoughts often turn to the many thousands of Christian people who have worshipped here, marked their lives with, with baptismal vows, wedding vows and Christian burial. The worship of God uh, in prayer and praise, in music, over that time has continued. St Mary Our Lady is not a museum, it is a living church where prayer and praise continue. We invite you to join us in worship on any Sunday throughout the year and the great festivals of the church. Or visit us any day, enjoy our beautiful church and make your own quiet prayers in this holy place.